It's safe to say Brandon Staley has lost the locker room. It's safe to say Brandon Staley has lost the team. Well guys, that was just embarrassing and if I was a Chargers fan, I probably wouldn't want to watch sports media for the rest of the week. That loss gave the Denver Broncos a run for their money for the worst loss of the season. And who knew that their team truly was that bad without Justin Herbert? And man, where does this team go from here? I guess the obvious answer is to fire Brandon Staley immediately, but even then, that's just kind of choosing somebody to throw under the bus, because he isn't the only problem. It's a collection of many things, and I'm going to talk about all of them in this video. But before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe. It only takes 5 seconds, plus you can always change your mind, and your support truly does mean everything. Alright, so starting off with a quick game recap, the Raiders of course started out hot early on, and in the 8 minute mark of the first quarter, they punched in the first touchdown of the game with Zamir White. Quickly after that, Aiden O'Connell threw to Trey Tucker for a 30 yard touchdown, and then to end off the quarter, they scored another touchdown with a 22 yard pass to Jacoby Myers to make the score 21 to nothing. And it was at this point that you could tell the Chargers were shell shocked, and I'm not sure how you get back from something like this. The second quarter wasn't much different, and the Raiders just started to pour it on. Aiden O'Connell absolutely broke out in this game, and he threw for 231 yards and 4 touchdowns. And obviously, it couldn't have been more than that if they didn't get up by so much so quickly. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that game. Palmer did have a touchdown to get LA on the board, but there just wasn't much to talk about. Alright. So now where does this team go from here? It's pretty obvious at this point that the 2023 season is over for them, so they gotta focus on the future. Staley was already on the hot seat before this game, so I think this was most likely the final straw. But we will see. His defenses haven't been good enough, his in-game decision making has been questionable at best, his staff has struggled to scheme up a functional running game, and LA has largely wasted the early stages of Justin Herbert's promising career. Coming into this game, the Chargers ranked 29th in total defense, 27th in yards per rush, 17th in points allowed per game, and 16th in points scored per game. Despite all of that, this loss really does represent the low water mark of Staley's tenure. The Chargers did not enter this game with a lot of confidence or many reasons to play hard, but neither did the Raiders, who were in a similar position and who already fired their head coach Josh McDaniels after week 8. If there was any doubt about the Raiders players' willingness to fight for their new head coach, they for sure showed it in this game after coming off a humiliating 3 to nothing loss against the Vikings. But yeah, basically, offensively, defensively, and anywhere else that exists on the field, the Chargers were and are a mess, and hopefully a new coach can start pointing them in the right direction, because it's not like they don't have the talent. They have plenty of names, but they are just not playing together, and they look deflated. So they're going to have to change some things up in the offseason and in the draft. Let me know in the comments below what you think the Chargers should do now that they just experienced a beatdown like this, and also, if you made it to this point in the video and haven't yet, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because your support truly means the world, and also let me know what you would like to see next because there is just so much to talk about across the league. And until next time, I will see you all later.